Join me today as we explore the River Horse of Africa, which is now part of the infamous legacy left behind by the notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar. These semi-aquatic mammals are famous for their massive yawns and notorious for their fiercely territorial behavior. In fact, hippos are the second deadliest animals in Africa. They are second only to the mosquito, and every year they kill about 3,000 people in Africa. They have an average lifespan of 40 to 50 years. There are two evolutionarily distinct species of hippos in Africa namely the pygmy hippo and the common or nile hippo. There are five subspecies of the common hippo and they are differentiated by their geographical differences and skull differences. Hippos are found throughout Sub-Sahara Africa and are native to over 32 countries in Africa. Pygmy hippos are native mainly to West Africa. Adult pygmy hippos weigh about 160 to 280 kilograms. They stand about a meter tall and are as long as 1.7 meters. They are difficult to study in the wild, so our focus will mainly be on the common hippo. Common hippos weigh about 1,300 to 4,200 kilograms. They are the third largest mammals on land. They stand about 1.5 meters tall and are about 2 to 5 meters in length. Their maw can stretch 150 degrees. Their incisors can grow up to 40 centimeters. Their canines can reach a length of 53 centimeters. Their canines appear from their first birthday and grow up until the animal dies. Their teeth are also a source of ivory and were used to manufacture false teeth. They also carry a bite force of 8,000 newtons, the highest of any living mammal. Their short legs provide powerful propulsion through water, while their web feet allow them to navigate on shallow river bottoms. The maximum speed ever recorded by a human is 44 kilometers per hour. Hippos can run an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour on land. Hippos can stay underwater for a maximum of five minutes. They achieve this time because they can fold their ears and close their nostrils underwater. are herbivores. Their diet mainly consists of grass. They usually start grazing at dusk for a period of five hours and during this period they can consume up to 55 kilograms of grass. Hippos don't have sweat glands. They use water and mud to stay cool. Mud also acts as a sunscreen. The mucus gland secretes a thick oil layer of pigmented fluid called blood sweat. It's called blood sweat because it was believed that it consisted of blood and water. As a matter of fact, this fluid consists of two acids and it immediately turns red when illuminated by sunlight. Pygmy hippos are solitary and non-territorial animals, while common hippos are social animals. They usually live in herds called bloats or rafts. These bloats consist of 10 to 100 members, comprised of both males and females with a single dominant male. Dominance is displayed by jaw clashing, tongue showering, and yawning. 
At around 6 to 7 years of age, dominance is contested amongst males. These contests can be deadly or inflict life-threatening wounds. Calves can also become accidental casualties of these contests. During the dry season, large numbers are forced to congregate in pools of limited water. This overcrowding disrupts the hierarchical system, resulting in even higher levels of aggression. Mating can occur at any time of the year. Common hippos are polygynous, and only the dominant male mates with the females in the bloat. The dominant male wanders through the bloat searching for a female in a submissive manner. When he finds a female in heat, he isolates her into deeper waters. He then frustrates her until she clashes jaws. He then forces her into submission and then mounts her, forcing her head underwater. During mating, the male releases a honking sound, which is believed to be an announcement of mating. This honking sound can reach 110 decibels. Thunder is usually 120 decibels. Conception mostly occurs during the end of the wet season. Hippos have a gestation period of 8 months. Most calves are born at the beginning of the wet season. During late pregnancy, females become very aggressive, even to other hippos. Just before females give birth, they isolate themselves and only return two weeks after giving birth. Calves can weigh up to 50 kilograms at birth. They are adapted to underwater suckling. They suckle for about a year, but they stay close to their mothers for about three and a half years. Infant mortality is rather low in calves, but they are susceptible to predation from lion, hyenas, and crocodiles. Adult hippos are rarely preyed upon, but large prides of lions can successfully bring down an adult hippo. Humans and hippos have coexisted for centuries, but as human populations grow, we enroach on wildlife habitats as we build new settlements and increased agricultural production. Common hippos play an important role in the ecosystem due to their large size. For example, they create smaller habitats for smaller creatures like fish, especially during the dry season. According to the African Wildlife Foundation, at the beginning of the 21st century, the population of the common hippo declined by more than 95% in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2002, about 5.5 tons of hippo teeth were exported from Uganda, which equates to an estimated 2,000 individual animals. The conservation status of the common hippo is vulnerable, with 100,000 still remaining in the wild. The pygmy hippo is endangered with about 3,000 remaining in the world. In fact, the Malagasy hippo, a close relative of the pygmy hippo, is now extinct. These massive creatures once ranged from northern Africa to southern Africa, but today they are confined to conservation parks. But through the continuous implementation of conservation strategies and education of the general public, about these magnificent creatures, these creatures will once again thrive peacefully alongside our children for many generations to come, because they are part of Africa's pride.